Ryan Ham here, and what you see before you is a set of pistols and a set of grips for the North American Arms mini revolvers. I have a Black Widow here, and you've seen that actually. That was one of my first videos. It's also the Avatar that I currently use. That is a North American Arms Black Widow two inch barrel, and I also have just a standard one and an eighth inch, both Magnum frame pistols. The North American Arms mini revolvers come with this type of grip and it is a wood grip very nicely finished and it is also very tiny it makes the gun uh, really tiny and uh, really difficult for somebody with uh, man hands like myself to uh, to fire what i've done is i bought these directly from north american arms these grips here and i replaced those on my black widow i don't currently have the black widow grips uh, they're in a box uh, stored away somewhere but i have the old style black widow grips which are squarish and kind of hideous uh, these are beautiful grips, wonderful. The back of the cylinder presents a really sharp edge. And, and what I found is CV grips, CV being short for a Chang Vong, and that's the individual's name, I believe. And he designed a nifty little grip. It comes up right behind the cylinder there, and it, uh, it smooths out the transition from uh, where you're holding the gun and the cylinder there. I've certainly felt the uh, red spot there after shooting it a few times. So quickly here, while I have all the grips off, I wanted to uh, show you how these grips uh, keep from rocking. And uh, what they do is they have uh, little raised portions. It's uh, easier to illustrate here. Little raised portions around the outside or around the inside of the uh, grip. And what that does is that uh, locks down inside of the frame and that keeps it uh, pretty secure keeps it from uh, rocking around a whole lot. And of course the, the screw going through the center and, uh, and locking it down uh, secures it. The CV grips have an extra level of a pin in the back. The other nice thing is uh, these are pressed on the factory. These are little pressed nuts that go inside of the wood. And on the CV it is round hole that they've just pressed a nut into. Uh, I think both of those are okay ways of doing it. It's a little cheaper. Those nuts are cheaper than uh, than if you get the splined ones that come with the uh, factory grips. So on the inside of the rubber grips here, the retention or uh, anti-rotation device they have there is they've got these little, little rubber studs here that uh, go into these little rubber uh, recesses here, and that keeps it fairly, uh, fairly solid. Of the grips here, that is actually the most solid on the gun. Uh, the wood uh, oversized grips that I have here, uh, you can see those uh, that little white area and a little bit of staining on the inside. Well, what that's from is the uh, the grips weren't um, overly tight on the gun, and I wrapped a little duct tape several years back around there, and I just found it when I pulled the uh, when I pulled the grips off today. So uh, it's the first time the grips have been off both these guns in a while. Next, you'll see this grip and this grip installed on this gun and this gun. And we're back, and I've swapped the grips out. Oh, by the way, what a gooey, sticky mess duct tape is if you leave it around for more than a year or so. And I figured those have been in there for about 15 years. So uh, I made a mistake, and I had paid for it over the last 10 minutes trying to clean that out. So here we are. Now uh, we'll get back to the guns. Uh, the first thing I notice about the grips on installing them is that this back plate does not go all the way up against the cylinder like I had hoped. Now, it does do the job. It, uh, it does completely conceal and keep your, uh, your clothing and your body and whatever else from catching on the back of the cylinder. We'll do them side by side. If you notice, it extends the grip back and it gives the grip more depth this way. That is huge uh, because that depth that way allows you to hold on to the gun a little bit better. Uh, it also adds to the length of the grip, which is huge, and it adds kind of a little finger groove thing there. It gives you more, uh, more of a hand filling feel to it. On the original, you've got to kind of crook your finger down over your middle finger in order to fire the thing, and it makes, uh, makes it uncomfortable. The other way to do it, I guess, is to kind of hunker down on the pistol, but doing that, you're leaving that big gap up there, and when the pistol recoils a little bit, it could catch on the trigger. Um, it, it's also uncomfortable. You don't, you can't index your, your middle finger anywhere to, to kind of get a good solid lock in. So firing this one, I find that 
I cocked the hammer. I put my thumb on the on the back of the the uh, the frame, and it, it's kind of pinched in there. And then I keep my middle finger down there, and I index off of my ring finger. I just kind of crook it down against the ring finger there, and uh, and fire it that way. And that's the that's the appropriate way that I believe uh, the gun should be fired by somebody with uh, with manlike hands. Uh, so it, that's the original. You know, if you look at the CV, uh, that gives you the ability to index off of your uh, your pinky finger. Uh, so you get your little pinky finger under there, and you don't have to crook your thumb against the back. In fact, you, you hardly can't because it adds so much to the grip. So you can index your, your thumb along the side of the cylinder, uh, right, right against this little back, um, back strap here. And it, it, it actually makes it feel pretty nice there. It, it essentially doubles the number of fingers you have on it and almost triple because you've actually got the, the gun back against your hand and your thumb right against the, the side plate there. And you don't worry about it catching the edge of the, the rear of the cylinder. Uh, that's really nifty. What I don't like about it is that you're gonna have to reposition your grip every time you fire this because it is gonna slide down a little bit and you're gonna have to reposition it because you're 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 not able to index up here. I'm not. You might be able to. And because I'm not, I don't plan on keeping these grips. The reason I don't like them is because again it doesn't fill this gap here. The seam on the bottom of the grip does not made up very well. It's got a little molding flash there. There's a gap back here, there's a gap back here, but overall everything else seems to be uh, well made about them. They feel solid on the gun, they don't feel like they're, they're going to slip around. You get more of a solid purchase on the gun. They look sexy. Um, now, the company actually made uh, what they call diamond wood, which is a laminated uh, grip for a while. If you can find one of those, or if you have one of those, hold on to it, because they are not making those anymore. Which is unfortunate, because I think that would have added a little bit of stability to the grip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the grips on this one back to the uh, original uh, uh, one I had on there, the rubber, and uh, I'll compare those side by side. What a relief. Uh, so I've got the old grip back on that gun. I hate that small grip. Uh, and, and again, for people with small hands, and if you use the proper technique, it's not too bad. But we'll compare the uh, CV grips to the, uh, the plastic ones, or the, uh, the rubber ones. And as you can see, and nearly identical in profile all the way until you get back down to about here and uh, the difference being that in the front try and line them up as best I can in the front it takes up all that room underneath the trigger guard all the room and uh, it, the finger groove down here is in the same spot but it's got this little tiny nub here and what that does is that allows you to put your your uh, uh, pinky finger underneath there and kind of wrap it around and help index it off of that um, Perfect size grip everything about it is, is, is just perfect. I don't like the fact that <laughs> My thumb can hit that but the proper technique, uh, you know, you wrap your thumb over here and It gets in the way a little bit of the trigger But you wrap your thumb down here and you're, you're drawing the gun back with your thumb back into your palm and uh, With the proper technique. It's not too bad. And this is all feel and ergonomics. Um, the nice thing about this is, and I didn't point this out earlier, your trigger finger can't rub against the back of the cylinder. So it actually makes, it fills this area between your finger and the gun really well. And it, it makes it, uh, well, <laughs> I like that part of it. Uh, it makes it a lot uh, easier to reach the trigger uh, without, uh, without rubbing against the back of the cylinder. And again, you can index your thumb up here and and uh, everything works out good. It kind of pinch the gun uh, like that, if you will. Your pinky is left kind of hanging and dangling. It doesn't do anything effective with the CV grips. Uh, so it's a compromise all around. There's not uh, a good answer on the market now, which is why I got the CV grips, hoping that they would be a good answer. They're kind of pricey. I think they're $35, maybe $40 shipped, somewhere in that range. Uh, if you can find them on sale for less, it's not too bad. But uh, if you don't mind the issues that I've already been talking about, they could be a great uh, pair of grips for you. Uh, these are going back, and I've actually already got a refund. Talk about customer service. You gave me a refund without the grip. I'm going to ship them back uh, tomorrow morning. What I like is that they cover the back of the cylinder. They add a little bit of extra room back here. 
They're uh, not too wide. They're plastic, so they don't catch on anything. And uh, overall, they're, they're, they're pretty well made. I mean, for what they are. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I would appreciate if you would favorite this video. If you found it interesting, subscribe if you want to see more like it. Share it with your friends. Make a comment down below if you have any questions. Great. Other than that, again, this is Ryan Ham. I'll see you at the range. I just couldn't leave it at that to replace the duct tape. I've got a little business card that I've cut off. I'm going to wrap it around there, and that should, uh, that should do just fine to tighten the grip up. And just an ever so slight gap in there. And ever so slight on the back, which is good. And not a whole lot of tension on the grip screw, but uh, the grips are super tight on there now. And uh, my other grips here are also super tight. Bonus feature. Hope you enjoyed. See you at the range.